This is my apiary over here. Apiary is called the bee yard. The bee yard. Where you have all of your hives in one particular area. Mm. A nice hobby. We've been doing it about 10 years. So yeah. I, I know environmentally this is extremely important. Can you explain why, please? Well, I like bees because they are, they are fun to take care of. They've got an incredible system inside that I just find fascinating but they're so essential for pollinating everything around us. And I think more has come to light about the essential role of bees. And I have actually had several of my neighbors say to me, my flowers have never looked better. My vegetable garden has never looked better. Thank you for your bees. Because the bees will travel around. Um, they'll go and find sources of water, various flowers where things are blooming, and they communicate back to each other and tell each other where to go. So they are, very, very important. And we're really very careful about anything we use around them. Um, so, you know, insecticides, pesticides, we're really cautious. Now, Montgomery County has put some laws in place to really control that, which is good for the bee population. You can't control where your bees go. So, if my bees might travel like a two mile radius, well, I know what I'm doing here to protect my area, but somebody else might be doing something or putting stuff on flowers or doing anything that they could bring back here. They're bringing back water and they're bringing back flowers and they're bringing back everything so they can make honey in their home. And they shouldn't be afraid of a honeybee because a honeybee is actually not going to harden them. The only time a honeybee would do anything to you is if you step on it, <laughs> of course it's going to protect itself, and if you try to get into the hive and do something. How, how wonderful it is that we have an ag reserve and so would you have been able to do this if you weren't in the ag reserve? It certainly helps being in the ag reserve. This is such a fabulous area. I mean we've been out here over 34 years now and we just love this part of the county. It's so nice. We can go out our back door and you know, there are alpacas behind us, there are horses behind us. Just we would come out and one of our neighbors had cows. I mean, where else could you go when you just take a walk down the street and just see all of this? It's just beautiful out here. When COVID hit, it was just so wonderful to just to go out in the yard. We started doing more gardening. We, at the, we put in a, expanded the vegetable garden. It was just great. What is this? This is like a version of rock candy, essentially just sugar. It's called fondant. Fondant. Mm -hmm. and, and it's literally just sugar and water boiled down and turned into a type of bee candy or it's they just call it fondant. We have so many things here and projects and different things to keep us busy that we've done fine through COVID. So Sydney I have some honey for you from our bees. Well thank for, you. Thank very, you so very much for coming up. I will enjoy it. Well thank thanks you. for coming and well, thank you for visiting with me. my bees.